Welcome to India, where cows aren't just sacred animals, they're practically citizens. In the last years, while there hasn't been an official declaration of cows as the mother of the nation at the national level in India, there have been calls and demands for such a declaration from various groups and individuals all over the country in order to impose strict punishments for cow slaughter and the establishment of cow sanctuaries and shelters in every district. Interestingly, these laws have led to a situation where cows in some parts of India enjoy more legal protections than some people. The reason behind this respect for cows is rooted in Hinduism. In ancient India, a person's social and economic status was often determined by the number of cattle they possessed. But the cow's importance extends far beyond material wealth. These gentle creatures are seen as symbols of selfless service and kindness, embodying the very essence of dharma, or righteousness. In Hindu mythology, Lord Krishna, a central figure, grew up in a family of cowherds and personally tended to cows in his childhood. It's said that the animals were mesmerized by the melody of his flute, staying calm in his presence. This connection between divinity and the bovines is further strengthened by Shiva, another major Hindu deity who is known as Goraknath, the Lord of Cows. Another revered creature in Hinduism is the elephant. Symbolizing royalty, strength and intelligence, elephants play a crucial role in Hindu iconography and rituals. The most famous elephant in Hinduism is undoubtedly Ganesha, the elephant-headed god. His large head is said to represent knowledge and wisdom, while his trunk symbolizes his ability to grasp complex concepts. As the remover of obstacles, Ganesha is often invoked at the beginning of new ventures or important ceremonies. Elephants also feature prominently in Hindu mythology and history. Indra, the king of gods, rides a white elephant named Aravath, which emerged during the churning of the cosmic ocean. In more earthly realms, elephants were once crucial in warfare, playing a significant role in the military tactics of ancient and medieval Indian armies, and also in construction. Today, many Hindu temples maintain elephants for use in festivals and processions, continuing the age-old tradition of revering these majestic creatures. However, this practice has raised concerns about animal welfare, highlighting the complex relationship between religious traditions and modern ethical considerations. Moving on to Christianity, the lamb stands as a central symbol, mentioned over 180 times in its holy text. Its importance dates back to the representation of Christ himself. Known as the Lamb of God, Jesus is portrayed as the ultimate sacrificial offering, echoing ancient Jewish traditions of animal sacrifice for the atonement of sins. This symbolism runs deep, with the lamb embodying the concepts of innocence, purity and redemption, central to Christian belief. In Christian art, the lamb has been represented for centuries in grand cathedrals, churches and monumental sculptures. Early Christian art often depicted the lamb alongside the Good Shepherd, symbolizing the Christian soul during its earthly journey. Over time, this imagery evolved representing Christ himself. This shift in symbolism reflects the development of Christian theology. In addition to the lamb, another sacred animal is Christianity is the dove, which represents the Holy Spirit, shown when it comes down from heaven during Jesus' baptism, symbolizing God's gentle and loving presence. It also stands for peace, as seen in the story of Noah's Ark when a dove brings back an olive branch, showing that the flood is over and that peace with God is restored. The dove's white color and gentle nature make it a symbol of purity and innocence, like a soul that is clean and good. Despite that in the Old Testament people use doves for sacrifices, this makes them a symbol of atonement, forgiveness and new beginnings, considering it a sacred and special animal in Christianity. Hey, wait a second. If you want to keep learning stuff to get a bit smarter every day, we wanted to invite you to subscribe to our channel real quick and comment it down below so you get our response. Finally, talking about Islam, 
There are no animals that are considered inherently holy or divine in the same sense as some animals are in other religions. However, there are some important ones in Islamic tradition. Going back to ancient Egypt, we come across that in the land of the pharaohs, cats were manifestations of the goddess Bastet. This feline deity, depicted with a lioness or domestic cat's head, represented home, fertility and domesticity. Harming a cat could lead to severe punishment or even death. The Egyptians admired cats for their litheness, power and warrior spirit. These attributes were so revered that cats often found themselves mummified alongside their human companions, not just as pets for the afterlife, but as containers the dead could live in as a form of reincarnation. In Islamic culture, we find that cats are respected for their cleanliness and are traditionally allowed to enter mosques and homes. This special status started with Prophet Muhammad himself. One famous story tells of the Prophet cutting off his prayer robe's sleeve rather than disturbing his sleeping cat, Muetza. This act of kindness towards a feline companion set a precedent for how cats should be treated in Islamic society. The Prophet's love for cats was so well known that one of his companions, Abu Huraira, earned the nickname Father of the Kittens due to his deep affection for these animals. Among other animals mentioned in Islamic texts, we find camels and horses holding significant historical and practical importance. Camels are revered for their crucial role since the early days of Islam, serving for transportation, trade across deserts, and survival in harsh environments like the Arabian Peninsula. Horses, on the other hand, are esteemed for their role in wars and as symbols of status and strength. Mentioned in the Quran and Hadiths, horses are celebrated for their speed, endurance and agility, particularly the Arabian horse. As we've seen, animals play diverse roles across faiths, from being worshipped like gods to being treated like close friends for humans. Across religions, animals often symbolize virtues like wisdom, strength and purity. They serve as bridges between the earthly and divine, helping believers connect with spiritual concepts, and in daily life, these sacred animals influence behavior and ethics. Still nowadays, animals continue to inspire reverence and shape religious practice worldwide. This is the end of the video. Hope you learned something new with us today. Please give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to keep getting enriched from our content and share the video with someone you know will like it.